Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Hunt for Bronze. Now, this morning we're back out bass fishing. Um, last week's session, a little bit of a fuse under me. Um, I almost forgot how much I loved doing this sort of fishing. So, we're back out, we're back hitting those river bass. Um, I also kind of want to get done with some river bass because we're predicted to have a heap of rain this spring and summer and if I can hit them now and get some fish before it uh, the rivers blow out again and before I can bush bash with my knee uh, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take that take that advantage so what we're gonna do is gonna break down the morning similar to last time I'm gonna throw some top water early um, I'm gonna throw the buzz bait because I just love doing it um, and then I've got a lipless couple of lipless cranks I'm going to give a throw today along with uh, the beetle spin as well so those two combos should work really well if you haven't done so already please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we are on our way to 3,000 subscribers hopefully 4,000 subscribers uh, in the not too distant future so we're gonna we're gonna grind through that and crank over the numbers all right leave a comment Leave a comment on what lure today is gonna gonna catch the most fish or the biggest fish. Let's go biggest fish. What lure today? So you got buzz bait, beetle spin, lipless crank. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear what y'all have to say about that. But we're gonna get to it. We've got perfect sunlight, beautiful morning. I'm ready to catch me some bass. Let's go. All right, let's. Rock and roll, eh? Some bloody goods. Just waiting for a bass to just be on the edge of that to just wallop it. Getting in these reeds right up in them. Bring that buzz bait out off the edge, waiting for a bass to be on that outer edge. But it's not looking promising for the old buzz bait this morning. One hit. Bloody one hit. Maybe they need the water a bit warmer with the brighter moon tonight. They'll probably have a bite period I reckon around 10 o'clock. Might be a bit more bite period-y. Tell 
Tell you what, I feel like I'm flogging dead horse, that's for sure. Oh, it's, it's the bloody question I always ask myself. Do I persist with the buzz bait and get that one bite, which I just love so much, or do I swap out? Joysus, not a single fish, just one hit. Or one hookup. So we're at the top of the tide, water's dirty. We've got a creek with the tide coming out. This is probably one of the really good spots to go. Oh, come on. So we're going to go with a two-pronged approach here, beetle spin and lipless. Kind of going to see what subsurface offering works better. Water's a bit nicer in here, it's not as murky and gross. So, I have a feeling that the bass are probably pushing up creek instead of um, elsewhere. That water's dropped a fair bit, whether it was high because of the rain or what. Yep, there's a fish. Oh, that's got some go. It's not a bad fish. Feels all right. Doesn't look bad either. Looking a little sickly, but that's a, that's a nice fish. That's a quite a nice fish. It's a very nice fish. Unreal. Let's get the camera out and. There we go, we got a 40 forker there, taken on that Damiki Naparaju vibe in that new colour. That is my first fish of the day. Pretty stoked with that. He's looking a bit sickly, but that's okay. We got one and we're on the board. It's a good start. It's a real good start. Oh, I was on there. Yeah, there we are. On again. Yes. Good fish too. Solid little one. Pulled the hooks the first time and then buddy got him. Drag off. No boat flips today. Tentatively hitting lures and pulling hooks. There we go. Solid little tuck of that one. There we go. Two for the day. This uh, little Damiki lipless crank is certainly saving the day um things are tough out here that's for sure but we're making it happen as you can see that white Demiki right in the corner so i'm using singles um so i can fish it through all the structure plus it's really good for the bass to just especially in the wild so they don't 
munch down on those trebles. 39 forker of prime Aussie bass. We'll let it go. There we go, there's a fish. What do you think? Brim? Bass. 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 On the jerk bait. It's actually not a bad one either. And he has absolutely engulfed it. He there is fish number three. And look at that, he's absolutely swallowed that so kill. This fish is interesting too. He's got a little bit of a, a bite or a cut here, suggesting he's uh, had an encounter with a bit of a predator of some sorts. But look at that lure, all the way down his gob. That's cool. He wanted it. He definitely wanted it. He was sitting there waiting for it. That is for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. He was definitely waiting for it. Shop. Well, we've had a bit of a spot change. My concern currently is that what I've changed to is a bit salty. However, we're moving upstream with the tide. The water's nice and clean, like it's a lot cleaner than where we were. So I've got good hopes. Um, I would say this creek river thingy goes up a fair bit. We'll just check the handy dandy mounts. Yeah. Yeah, we had a long river to here, this one. This one goes, oh, it's a big creek. Big old creek. It's a big bastard. But we're gonna give it a go. Who knows? We might be on the juice here. We might not be. Either way, we got the old lipless crank. We've got a sense of adventure. Yep, there's a fish. Flooded. Can I shake him off? <laughs> You're not a bass. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, 
That was such a subtle hit and I was just waking it. All right, Mr. Bass. Pull the hooks, that's what we're gonna do. God damn it! All right, all. There we go, another episode of The Hunt for Bronze Done and Dusted. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We only landed three bass and a couple of other bits and pieces. Fishing was tough as the river was quite dirty, but we did find a few on the uh, Napjaru 60 and one on the Sokil Jerkbait. If you do want any more information, check the link below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, go out fish and enjoy yourselves, and we are out.